the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. We thank you, O God, that you have again brought us together on the Lord's Day to praise you for your goodness and to ask your blessing. Give us grace to see your hand in the week that is past and your purpose in the week to come. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear friends in Christ, as we turn our hearts and minds to worship Almighty God, let us confess our sins. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Merciful God, grant to your faithful people pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Let us pray. Merciful God, you have prepared for those who love you riches beyond imagination. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the Christian writings, taken from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter was still speaking, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who heard the word. The circumcised believers who had come with Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit had been poured out even on the Gentiles. For they heard them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter said, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? 
So he ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they invited him to stay for several days. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 98. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. With his right hand and his holy arm has he won for himself the victory. The Lord has made known his victory. His righteousness has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He remembers his mercy and faithfulness to the house of Israel, and all the ends of the earth have seen the victory of our God. Shout with joy to the Lord, all you lands. Lift up your voice, rejoice, and sing. Sing to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and the voice of song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, shout with joy before the King, the Lord. Let the sea make a noise and all that is in it, the lands and those who dwell therein. Let the rivers clap their hands and let the hills ring out with joy before the Lord when he comes to judge the earth. In righteousness shall he judge the world and the peoples with equity. Lord God, we see your righteousness rule in all your works, and we join our voices with the song of your whole creation in praising you in and through Jesus Christ, our Savior. A reading from the Christian writings taken from the first letter of John. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. Hear what the Spirit is saying to the church. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. Alleluia. 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 The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the gospel of the Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Alleluia. 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 Now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Amen. Last week we spoke a bit about how Jesus is calling us to live in a different relationship with God, to live in a different relationship with each other. Relationship that's not based on fear, not based on trying to avoid punishment, not based on trying to avoid sorrow or loss, but rather a relationship that's built on love, on positive way of looking at things, looking at living a life based on love, because God has first loved us. And in the gospel reading today, I think Jesus is building on that idea by saying, no longer are you servants, but now you are friends. Moving from being a servant to being a friend is a fairly significant shift in relationship. It's a significant shift in the responsibilities. After all, a servant does what a servant is ordered to do. And they do it either in order to get a reward, like being paid, or to avoid some kind of punishment, like being fired. A servant doesn't have the same level of responsibility to actually do things. They do what they're told. And if what they do is wrong, it is their master that's responsible, not them. But when Jesus says, no longer are you servants, now you are friends. Jesus is inviting us into a deeper relationship. 
where we are no longer just serving Jesus, but we are serving with Jesus. We are serving like Jesus. And that opens up a whole new way of being in relationship, not just with Jesus, but with the whole world. It really invites us to see where Jesus is that we might join in the work that God is doing, that loving work, that reconciling work, that forgiving work that God is doing in and through Jesus in the world and invites us to join in that God might work in and through us in that work in the world. It really invites us to look at the refugee and say, that is not someone who is to be feared. That is not someone who is coming to take what is properly mine but instead see them as someone who needs, who needs a safe place, a safe haven, who needs comfort and welcome. It is seeing the poor as not those who are going to take, but as those whom we are going to give to, just as God has given to us. It's seeing the hungry as not taking our food, but as an opportunity to share the food we have been given. It is a way of looking at those who are imprisoned as those who need comfort, who need solace is a way of looking at the world through eyes of love, not fear. And it is a way of recognizing our responsibility to see where Jesus is and serve with him. To serve alongside him. To serve like he would if his earthly ministry were continuing today. The idea of moving from servant to friend is a difficult one, and yet it is a natural progression for us to move from that idea of being only servants of Jesus to being servants of the needs of the world with Jesus, alongside Jesus, like Jesus. And this is the invitation to move from relationship based on fear to relationship based on love, to move from relationship of servanthood to a relationship of friendship, to move from just serving Jesus to being in a place where we serve with Jesus, that we are able to serve like Jesus, that the needs of the world, the brokenness of the world that we see amongst us, that all of those places, that all of those people might experience the love of God that we have experienced, might recognize that they too are God's children just as we know we have been adopted as God's children. 
that God's kingdom might be experienced by all on earth as it is in heaven. Let us confess our faith as we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us join together in the prayers of the people. We are to love one another as Jesus loves. Knowing God's love and affection for us, let us pray to him now. Father, where there is cr friction and conflict in the church and communities are divided and weakened, give us a greater longing for your healing and a deeper commitment to forgiving love. We pray for Todd, our bishop, Anne, our metropolitan, Linda, our primate, Kristen, our archdeacon, John, our regional dean, Raymond, our rector, our wardens, parish council, and all parish ministries. We pray for our brothers and sisters at Canon Davis Memorial, St. Paul's Point Edward, St. John the Baptist, Walpole Island, St. Jude's, Mount Bridges, St. Andrew's, Muncie, Zion in Oneida, and for our companion diocese of Amazonia in Brazil. Help us, Lord, to love one another. Father, wherever tangled political situations seem impossible to solve, Wherever conflicting interests threaten peace, 
wherever the ears of the powerful remain insulated against the cries of the oppressed. Give us ears to hear your guidance. Help us, Lord, to love one another. Father, wherever families are dysfunctional or children are in danger, wherever the daily living conditions are damaging to health and self-respect, let your kingdom come. Help us, Lord, to love one another. <clears throat> Father, wherever the ill and injured need comfort and assistance, wherever the elderly and housebound sit each day for hours alone, as we remember those whom we know that have a special need to feel your healing touch in their lives, and whose names we speak now aloud or in the silence, of our hearts. <clears throat> May we bring your love and help. Help us, Lord, to love one another. Father, wherever people are traveling that last journey of death, May they be surrounded by your love and welcomed into your heaven. And may those who mourn be comforted. Help us, Lord, to love one another. Father, wherever the beauty of creation reflects your love, may our hearts be lifted to you in thanks and praise. Today, in our parish cycle of prayer, we pray for Gary and Shirley Work. John and Pat Wright, Stan and Marg Zagrodny, and their families. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us praise our Savior taught us. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God, from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> 